Hello, my name is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at what we can do with equation driven curves. So the first thing I'm going to start with is just open up a new part document. And uh, let's take a look at um, how we can actually write an equation driven curve and why we might want to write this type of, you know, if we're machining something or for something like a spring, we might have some guide curves that we need to follow. Um, or if it's the design intent of the engineer to have, uh, you know, a, a curve derived from an equation, then we would have to deal with that in some sort of way. So we're just going to go ahead and write an equation. Um, we're going to do a t sine t minus cos t and then invert that t cos t minus sine t. We'll do values from 4 to 30 just so we have enough information to see what's going on and click OK. And now we have our equation driven sketch. And if you hover over that you can see that your cursor actually says hey this is equation driven spine, right? Equation driven. Well, what can we do with this? Well, it's nothing more than just a line. So if we sketched a profile, we could sweep a box. We could, uh, you know, offset this if we chose to. Um, today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to accept this, and we're going to select the front plane. And let's just kind of draw in some arbitrary shape above it. Perfect. Doesn't really matter the shape. Just trying to get something... A little interesting here. We evolve that. We'll select the axis to revolve. And uh, now what we're going to do is project the equation driven curve onto this surface. So we go to our curves, project curve. Hey, what curve do we want to project? We want to project the equation curve. And on the what surface? The surface here. Click OK. Uh, now that we have the projection, we can go ahead and choose to hide that. And we can now just draw a 3D sketch um, of a profile. Sure, that looks good. And we'll go select our feature and create a solid. Lastly, we'll, we'll choose not to merge so that we can actually hide this body. And now what we're left with is like, you know, some sort of end cap for a spring or you could do this the opposite direction right you can make the spring spit snug inside of a wall or just some applications for some interesting geometry and some capabilities in SolidWorks so just a quick recap we talked about equation driven curves and then we also use project the curve on a surface to create some interesting spring geometry it's Adam Hughes with Go Engineer thanks for watching